welcome it's Kathleen from Cause Creations welcome to the no bra zone number two guys I'm happy you're here I'm happy I'm here we are working today on a paramount professional gallery wrap canvas a 20 by 30 now these were gifted to me several of these canvases were gifted to me by um, my friend Courtney Hauscher and I for the life of me can't remember where I get the Paramount canvases. I had used them before so if any of you out there uh, remember please uh, put a comment in the comment box below because I like these canvases and this one is a little bit deeper. It's one and thirteen sixteenth of an inch deep so um, I like them. They look good on a wall. I'm going to be doing a swipe today because I haven't done a swipe in a while. Actually, I did a swipe yesterday, but it was kind of a test swipe using the new prism pour. And I just wanted to do a swipe in Kathleen colors. So that's what we're working on. We're going to be doing a swipe on a split colored base coat. Our two base coat colors are Artist Loft Soft Body in the Black as well as Artist Loft Soft Body in the white. Now, I know there have been issues with this white, and I forget what year it is you want it to uh, be, but I looked on this bottle everywhere, and I can't find a date. There's no date on this bottle, so I don't know how you determine if it's the good um, white or if it's the bad white, but fingers crossed, it's the good white. <laughs> Our pouring medium today is 50% Liquitex pouring medium and 50% Floetrol. I am out of my GAC 800 and it's becoming very, very difficult to get. So I've been playing with my pouring mediums. Guys, you know, it, pouring mediums are not rocket science. You can use all Floetrol. You can use a third Floetrol and two-thirds Liquitex. You can use all Liquitex. You can use Amsterdam pouring medium with some Floetrol. I think the most important thing is, number one, your consistency, the right consistency for the right technique, um, which involves adding water to your paints. Some paints take a little bit more water than others, and we've talked about that a hundred times, and I will probably talk about it every single day because it was the hardest thing for this girl to get down. Now, my swipe colors are usually relatively thin, but I am working with a thicker paint today. Usually my paints leave absolutely no trace when the paint rolls off the popsicle stick below. We have a subtle little trace in these paints. I just wanted to try it thicker, and I'm thinking that I'll get a little bit more of a drag as my um, damp paper towel runs across the paints, and I'm okay with that because I have done what's called dry swiping before, and I love that drag. So that's why we are going to go ahead and try this with a little bit of a thicker paint. All of these paints here are mixed the same as my base coat. 50% Floetrol and 50% Liquitex pouring medium and water in some of these paints. Why did some paints not need water? Because some of them are fluid paints and they didn't need it to get them to the consistency that I was hoping for. Let's talk about this colors and this yummy cup right here, the prettiest, prettiest copper out there. And I have tried so many. That is golden fluid acrylics in the iridescent copper. I don't know if you can see that shimmer, that yumminess, that goodness, that heavenly, heavenly color right there. But that is our golden fluids, iridescent copper. In this cup right here, a lot of people's favorites. That's the Deco Art Metallics in the 24 karat gold. Now this guy took some water. It took the most water of all of these paints because it is a medium body paint. So this took a few squirts of water to get it to the consistency that I wanted. This cup right here is just more of our soft body acrylics in the black. 
this right here becoming as well one of my favorites but you hear me say that all the time that is golden fluids in the burnt sienna now this is a fluid paint but this paint is a little bit thicker than the copper was same manufacturer same fluid paint even paints from the same manufacturer can have different densities this took just a smidgen of water this i'm excited about this was in my test run that i did yesterday on prism pour and i wanted some white in here so i thought i'd kick it up a notch this is the prism pour and that is the chantilly lace now this was mixed a little different this has no flow troll on it they recommend going extremely easy on the flow troll if you use it at all because it tends to dull this color this was mixed with all liquitex pouring medium and just a scant of water because it is not a heavy body paint but it is also not a fluid paint it's right in the middle so this is the only paint that is mixed with liquitex only the rest including our base coats are mixed with 50 percent floetrol 50 percent liquitex pouring medium our swipe and tool of choice today are going to be cut up pieces of damp paper towel we're doing a split base coat black on one side white on the other and that will dictate to me the different colors that i lay out to swipe on the black and to swipe on the white guys i'm glad you're here i'm glad i'm here let's put some tunes on let's get dancing let's get busy